Kaiser Redux is an awesome expansion. It's Kaiserreich, but even better. Single player, new game. We are going to be playing as my most fun path, Mongolia. That's right. This gentleman up here. Can you see him right here? Ronan. What an awesome name. He believes he's a reincarnation of Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. However you want to say it. And he's going to relive the ambitions of Genghis Khan in the 20th century in an alternative timeline, which is Kaiserreich. So Kaiser Redux is Kaiserreich, but with all the fun stupid unrealistic alt history stuff still in there and today's alt history absurd reality will be Genghis Khan the second Ziboyo here he is Ronan not only is this path brokenly OP but I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide to fulfill his conquest ambitions and uh well rebuild the Mongolian Empire to its former glory. Let's go. In Hearts of Iron 4, they give us the ability to design tanks and circle our enemies. However, have you ever wondered what those tank battles will look like in real life? World of Tanks, a free-to-play online multiplayer game with authentic tanks from the 20th century. You can take control of these steel beasts and battle through historical locations all around the world. Plan your battles, destroy your enemy in over 40 battle arenas. Take advantage of a huge tank arsenal of 550 tanks, ranging from tank destroyers, self-propelled artillery, light, medium, and heavy tanks. World of Tanks is accessible to anyone whether you're a veteran or a noob everyone can experience the tense and thrilling tank battles that shaped the history of warfare jump in with over 100 million players and interact with the global community who share your passion for history and gaming the tanks that they give you aren't good enough earn xp design and upgrade those existing tanks and create the conditions you need to achieve total victory. Use the invite code TANKMANIA to unlock tier 5 Excelsior. 250,000 credits, 7 days of premium access, and you get 3 rental tanks for 10 battles each. The Tiger 131, Cromwell B, and the T-34 85M. These benefits are only for new players who register for the first time on the Wargaming portal. All those benefits now await you in World of Tanks. Click the link in the description. I'll be waiting for you. First of all, you have supply lines that aren't connected. So, why don't you just connect them up? Easy. Research, you gotta get that industry rolling. Gotta work on a little bit of artillery. Oh yeah, we don't even have motorized. That's gonna be a problem, because here, there's no supply. That's right, over half of our nation has no supply. Ah, uh, that's gonna be a problem. Next up, select the army, convert it to the horse, and then we get to just move it to the capital for now. We're gonna work on our industry. So first of all, we're gonna go, the Russians aren't watching. Watching what, huh? What are we gonna go up to? Are we gonna be up to some shenanigans in Central Asia? Don't mind if I do. Production wise, we don't need to focus on guns, so we just pop one on there, and this will be artillery. That would be perfect. We're gonna find a little exploitative way of getting lots of guns in this game. What? Exploits in a Hoi 4 mod? Damn right. So, this mod has a lot of flavor text and vents. I'm gonna focus on the gameplay, the action, the conquest, and building your army and doing all the fun stuff. If you wanna play this mod, the link will be in the description, and you can read all the flavor text events. The lore is fantastic, by the way. I just don't wanna include it in this because it's very text heavy. First thing to do is look for an organizer. Oh, you will be the man for the job. And we are going to promote you to Field Marshal. Well, when I've got the command power. And you know why we're doing this. Come on, you tell me. Tell me, guys. Come on, you guys are pros. Why are we doing this? That's right. You're a wizard, Harry. Actually, you're a wizard, Gershin. You're a wizard, Gershin. You'll soon see that supply is going to be a massively big deal. So please pay attention to it because it's going to cause you problems if you don't. When all the action kicks off, you're going to have a really front line, but very few divisions will actually hold it. So what you're going to have to do is get at least 16 divisions to be able to hold the front line. So 16 boyos, prioritize the equipment, and then deploy them as soon as there's enough equipment and manpower. Okay, important flavor event. Our leader has got himself in a bit of a sticky pickle where he potentially could die, get forced to abdicate, or potentially fulfill his ambitions, but be a little bit wounded. We're going to go with the bottom one. And you can see, yeah, he, uh... The Baron dies, but the Khan is reborn. Boom! I told you he got a little bit wounded. Oh, no. Poorly. He's been hit on the head, and suddenly he comes around, and he thinks to himself, hang on a minute. I am the reincarnation of Genghis Khan. I have dreams, and that dream is Asia. Asia money. The most important nation in Kaiserite, you could say. Improve relations. That's right. We're going to make the Germans love us. The Russians aren't watching for now. And we're potentially going to upset the Russians the most by getting all of our cores in this northern territory. And we can go for conquest. But for now, we want to build up a little bit. So we're going to go for God of War to gain a few military factories. Oh, damn. We need military factories so badly. The God of War. Give me more military factories, please. Deploy the half-trained division just so we've got troops on the front line. You are initially going to lose, but you you'll pull it back, trust me. Frontline, go right about here. 
a few decent advisors that give you more organization. School of Psychology is one of them. And the next one is this one, Guns and Butter Doctrine, Supply Reduction and Org. Anything that reduces your supply is going to be a gift. And let's not forget the new officer core where we have the spirit of the army and proper heritage. 5% attack on cavalry. Great, we're going to be using horses. But get this, supply combat penalties on core territory minus 20%. This is like the ultimate officer core for what I'm doing right now. Because as you can see, we're having lots of supply problems. So this reduces the penalty that I get for being undersupplied. Amazing. A gift from God. Factory is on the way and we can do our first conquest. It's important that we do this conquest now because otherwise we'll have to demobilize and we don't want to do that. Stay on war economy as long as you can. Motorize is done and trust me, you want to be making motorize. Once again, supply is always going to be a problem with this run, so make sure you take care of it immediately. The right time to strike is right now. Then we select our field marshal and tell him to do motorize priority and of course he needs logistics wizard. Oh, charismatic is also pretty good. Yeah, we'll go for that when we've got the command power. What? You're lacking motorize? Well, duh. War! It never changes. That's who we're at war with. Oh boy. Even the little boy are down here as well. Oh dear. In that case, just spread you guys out and do a little bit of war props as well. <gasps> that means we're at war. And that's why we've got good relations with Germany. You know what that means? Give me the guns. Yeah, that's right. But make sure you've got lots of deficit guns. I mean, just a ridiculous deficit. Wait a day. Make sure they understand. Yeah, we're low on guns, guys. Germany, help me. Oh my goodness. 700 guns? That's... What about you, Austria? Help us. Okay, we've not, they've not actually got enough guns. Not very useful at all. In the meantime, continue to go for the industrial focuses, the ones that give civilian factories and military factories. That will pay off in the long run. There might be a small opportunity for encirclement. It's so tempting to go for encirclements in that instance, but just wait a little bit longer. You need to have at least 20, potentially 30 divisions on the front line before you can start doing that, because otherwise you're just going to run into problems. Wait, son. The big bush. And now you will take some losses here. You just got to hold ground. Just bear with it. You will survive. I believe in you. And also something we can do as well is add a little bit of artillery on. This adds a total of 17 soft attack. This doubles the amount of firepower this division has. Trust me, you want to do this. And also probably a really good idea to give it a cool icon. The banner of Genghis Khan. Yes, yes. More lend lease. 600 guns again, really? Germany being so unbelievably tight. 50 political power to focus on army offense gives ticking army experience. It's a no brainer, we're gonna be attacking. Initially right now is the only part you're gonna be defending. It's coming. Next one you wanna go for is establish the mines here, giving loads of steel and tungsten. Otherwise you're just gonna struggle to fund your war effort. More. Bandit purge is done. Join up the armies. Long front line. Deploy. Off you go. All right, reassign the guns onto basic infantry equipment. Import a little bit of steel from Germany. Things are starting to look pretty good now. Right, 20 divisions on the front line now. Get into position. Build a little bit of planning bonus. And we'll probably just try and snake into the front line and try and get around the back of them. It shouldn't be too difficult. Germany. <coughs> We don't have any guns. Oh, <coughs> oh, a thousand. Thank you. Okay, the first thing I see here is this open goal here. So I'm going to try and take this. Denied. But looks things we could just sneak around here and potentially encircle. What do we have here? The support is the attack. The horse is most certainly too strong. Oh, but, but what, do we, what do we have here? Eh? Can we just go around the outside, huh? So the easiest way of winning these wars is just not to attack them at all and just go around the outside. We can go attack now and go aggressive too. And uh, for the most part, because we've got artillery, the amount of damage and firepower we're kicking out is pretty insane. So it should never be a real issue. If you snake into the country too, you can grab supply depots like here and then push here and here. If you do take it off land though, you might be able to capitulate. Be aware that there's a nation that doesn't have a lot of victory points. So a lot of the time, if you take all their cities, they'll still hold out for a little bit longer. You have to gobble up more land with it. Ah, look at this. Industry, infrastructure. Infrastructure, infrastructure, civilian factories, civilian factories. Open up the industry, please. They always get pocket in the east every single time. Easy. All right, we've got all the victory points. The capital keeps moving to just random locations. Oh, there's one here too. Grab that one. And oh, it's not, it's not my war. Never mind. Someone else's war. Done. Many snakes later. Conquest. All right, next up, this boyo here. All right, conquest is gonna get a lot, lot quicker now. So get on it, get moving, and start doing damage. Really important to do. You need to connect the railroads. This is a mechanic. That thing is so cool. I can't even think of one instance other than China where you get to take advantage of it. Anyway, regardless, connect up the railroads. So boom, railroad to here, and then a railroad to here. There you go. Connect them up. There's also one here too. Here, and then to here. Ah, look at that supply. Isn't it dreadful? Meanwhile, boom, the Turkmenistanis are invading this nation as well. So let's just sandwich them and just take them all out, all in one go. Go, go, go. More. 
Got the option to attack Tibet here. Go for this one early. It gives you a free CB. Gobble up Tibet nice and easy. It's on the radar right now, so why not go for it? Because the supply is low, battle plans attacked a little bit weird, so you have to manually give them movements. Otherwise, they go exceptionally slow, so just keep giving them actions to do. Done! Oh dear. Floating divisions. What bad thing could happen here? Oh dear. Attack E immediately and railroad too, so they can't connect the front lines. Will they be able to in time? Uh, probably not. Another unconnected railroad, so you know what to do. Connect them up. Grand battle plan, theater training, logistics focus. You know the drill. Uh, yep. Tibet, you're next. Emperor of the Mongols, a new Mongolian empire. Now the tribes of Mongolian people are being united under the banner of a single leader once again. Shall our land seal itself from the world to protect our precious tradition and people? Or shall we, like the great Temjin, lead our great and mighty host to trample the dissident and petty regimes of the East and West? Is that even a question? War it never changes. You know what else doesn't change? German land lease. Oh my God, far 6K guns. <sighs> Don't mind if I do. Mine. Yoik. Hey, this is new. Connecting the railroads again. A new Mongolian empire. The Mongolia will rise again under Yujin Khan. Is that my new name now? Boom. Yukon has rised. And we got a new profile pic? No. No, we have to go for the Khan of Khans. Get the event to declare yourself the reincarnation of Genghis Khan. Okay, we're getting there just soon. The Khan of Khans. You'll now be known as Genghis Khan the second. I told you this was pretty absurd. Look at that. Beauty and uh, the great Mongol Empire. And now we uh, decide what we want to do with China. The fate of China. More unified China. The Manchus have assumed control. The Mongols have declared war. I actually didn't know this was going to insta declare war. Oops. When you're not prepared. All right, off you go, lads. Oh my God, just chewing through them. Now we've actually got a decent division. The firepower is insane. Now we can do this one. The Horseman of the Apocalypse gives a national spirit that gives speed, recovery rate, 12% attack on cavalry, planning. Oh my God, it's just insane. Oh wait, never mind. They've all joined against me. Oh, everyone's joined against me. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, I guess they've decided that they uh, don't want me to be the one true ruler of China. Get it? I get it. I know when I'm not wanted. No, that it matters. Um, also, Germany um, needs some guns. Oh my god, 13,000 guns in one shipment. Germany single-handedly funding my war effort. Nice push, Manchu. Uh, but this is just just dumb. It's so dumb. Next up, on more OP focuses, the god of war gives 5k. I actually don't know what that is. That might be the guns or even might be tanks. Going to be exciting to see. And uh, gives political power and a bunch of other free stuff. Why not? We're going to have maxed out stability and war support in 1930. You know the drill. The request land lease is broken at the moment. Resume railway tycoon from here to here. Good idea or bad idea? Good idea. This is one of the reasons why you like it when the AI pushes into you aggressively because they end up leaving themselves really exposed in the rear. Oh dear. Engineer 2. Tank research done. That could mean only one thing. Give me the blessed flamer. Beast. Oh, and it has to be a flamer. Oh, there we go. And now we just need to produce an absolute crap ton of those. Production is not looking too good at the moment, though. Why so few divisions, eh? Oh, yeah, that's right, because most of them are over here. Oh, dear. One of the fronts are closed. Let's focus on the north now. Ah! The most painful event has happened. Russia, well, actually not Russia, Eurasian Union. Eurasian Union? That's kind of cool. Uh, has requested control of these states in the north. Now, if you're ready, which more likely won't be, you can fight them, but it's kind of a long, grueling war that'll go on forever. My advice is just give up the land. We'll get it back later, okay? I promise. I promise. Commence the push. Okay, I've been sneaking around the back of them here, grabbing supply depots. Encirclement's done. And then just push. I think we're done now. Oh, we are so done now. We are well done now. How would you like your China cooked? Well done. So as you can pretty much guess right now, this is the reason why Redux exists, because it, it gives like insane bonuses. Bonuses that kind of are a little bit broken and kind of breaks the game. But come on, guys. It's just for fun factor. It's just for the lols. Max funsies. Who can't complain about that, right? Japan has declared war. Uh... How do they land? Do they control here? Oh, they have this. Okay, I need to make sure we grab that immediately. And Korea? Oh, they have Korea. Okay. I wonder if they see me as a threat pushing into Manchu so unbelievably, effortlessly. China carved up piece by piece by piece by piece. 
Every throne needs an emperor. So what do we do? Do we set up new administrations, puppet governments, trying to establish a new dynasty? No, it is all our conquest. Come on, Mongol conquest? We're going to create the new Mongol empire? It's going to be ours directly to own. Nobody else. Korea. Oh, attack. We're not moving. Why? Korea's not joined the war. Oh, declare war though. Okay, well, there we go. That's that sword. Okay, there's no ports here. We could directly just cut them off in North Korea. And uh, so I will. And... Oh my god, that was so effortless. There you go. There's uh, the entirety of the Japanese army encircled in Korea. Rip. So it looks like Japan's on a timer, and now they have like 90 days to take back Korea. And if not, I presume they get like kind of a white piece. So, uh, not looking good, Japan. Tick tock. So now we can proceed down the main part of our focus tree and the mantle of the Yuan. Yan. Is it pronounced Yan? I think it's pronounced Yan. I guess we make ourselves the Emperor of China, I presume. East Siberian Federation. Looks like free real estate. And oh, what do we got here? The big war has started. The Second World Krieg. So this is technically the World War II scenario, specifically for Kaiserreich, where the uh, Reich's Pact is against the Third International, basically France and the UK versus Germany and all the allies with it. The fading sun. After the utter defeat of the Imperial Japanese army, our forces control the huge swaths of land in Manchuria and Korea. In light of this, the government has called a two week conference in Port Arthur to determine our war aims. We accept our terms and they get to keep their home islands. Otherwise we just continue the war. I guess that we keep Korea and Manchu, I guess. Peace. And then we get to take all of Korea. And also Japanese treaty territories. We're at war with them. Do they have any division? Nope. The rush for Siberia. Russia's declared war on them as well. Uh, they peaced out. I think someone took Taiwan. Will I get enough war score to take it? Yes, I will. Ah, the real Mongol division. The heavy flame boy. Might as well make it better now. Three Mantura and welded armor. Yeah. No, mine Russia. One, two, and let's make that three. Now we make the most awkward front lines humanly possible. Okay, this could not be any more difficult. Okay, I regret this decision. Okay, that's not actually too bad because this northern part of Siberia you can't access anyway. It's technically quite a narrow front now. This is actually easier than I thought. Off we go. Once again, the hordes of Genghis Khan have invaded Eastern Europe. The Eurasian Union is authoritarian democracy. Hmm, okay. It will soon be national popularist Genghis Khan II. And develop the Chinese industry. Ah, look what it gives. That's a lot of stuff. GG. Two nations have got war score. That really upsets me. Okay, I did the little trick where you take all the bordered nations and all the ports, and it's just giving me all the land. Whew. Guys, we came this close to extreme border gore. I did it for you guys, okay? The Bad Baron unites Russia. Hang on, we're not the Mad Baron anymore. We're Genghis Khan the second. The status of Macau, it belongs to China. Well, technically Mongolia. They are in the Entente. Oh my God, things are going to get incredibly messy. Do I care? Nah. You know what also is Mongolian? The AOGs. The OGs. The greatest satisfaction from uh, attacking and annexing this nation is that the flag is absolutely atrocious. I mean, it's horrendous. It is the probably the worst flag I've ever seen in any mod. Regardless, here we go. Eat them all up. Legation cities are next. Boom. And uh, Europe, on the other hand? Oh, that's right. Lots of conquest opportunities. Invading Ukraine. The end of legation cities. Oh, got it all planned. All ready for this. Oh, and they tried to take Taiwan. Nope. Yoink. Taking that one back. Are we losing anywhere? No. Everyone's getting squished. That's right. China is finally free from foreign influence. G to the G to the G. Yoink. I don't know why they separate the piece. I guess they can't join a faction. They have to remain neutral. So much for the neutrality now. Hey, hey. I don't know what's just happened, but I just white pieced Germany. And I'm still at war with Austria, though. Uh, okay. It was really strange a long, long time ago that Austria refused me guns. This is your punishment. Germany, on the other hand, I really can't complain about them too much. Let's have a look at Germany, infantry equipment. 21,000 guns right now are German guns. <laughs> I'm shooting the Germans with their own guns. So it's meant to be a war against Germany, but it's turning into a war against the Austrian states. The final focus of the focus tree, well, the kind of conquest part of it anyway, is just invade the Caucasus, take out Azerbaijan, Armenia, and Georgia. Voila! Genghis Khan would be proud. There's a few areas here that are part of the focus tree that have not declared on. Like, surely push into Iraq and Syria, wouldn't you? And uh, Afghanistan? Oh, we have a new focus here, boys. The spirit 
of Genghis. Our vast conquests have expanded the borders of Mongolia to stretch across Eurasia. The steppe plains and eastern China are under our control. Land previously thought that near impossible to unify. However, Sternberg's tactical brilliance and divine strength has forged the wild fantasies of the Mongolian nationalists into reality. You will gain cores on every original province of the Mar Click as well as bits in China, I guess. Cores on Manchuria, cores on all of Central Asia, and every ally will be offered integration into the Carnet. Oh! So if you ever went down the Alliance path, you still have the ability to unify at the end. Oh my god, that is so cool. If anyone's wondering, why was this so unbelievably easy? Look at this. Look at all these spirits. Look at all these bonuses. This is the beauty of Kaiser Redux. A lot of these are bonuses towards cavalry. It's insane. The spirit of Genghis! And now, a lot of these become cores, right? Cores, no? Okay, the Middle Kingdom, Central Asia becomes flawless, I guess, but nowhere else. Doesn't really matter, though. We've got 100% compliance. Doesn't even matter. We're maxed out. The big joke, though, is that there's probably areas I still can conquer. However, you hop into here, I conquer Turkmenistan, and it's, uh, <laughs> it's a war goal against myself. The real enemy of the Mongol Empire is the Mongol Empire. Now, that's something to think about. Everyone who loved this video also loved this one. Give it a click.